welcome back i have not been filming for quite a while during this quarantine just because oh am i on the right setting yeah um just with everything that's going on we haven't been up to much haven't really been motivated to film anything um just nothing's going on but what recently happened was um so during this whole time dan's been working an insane amount of overtime he's been working his butt off um which also means extra uh, parenting time for me solo parenting time um, with just with him working such long hours so and a brief period where he had to stay um, at camp away from us just to reduce any germs or potential germs but he's back coming home every night um, and he's finally has two weeks off so we um, with all of our hard work we bought a used camping trailer so we are going to be taking it out for the first time this weekend, the four of us, um, Dan and the girls and Ozzy. And then we're only going for about three days and we're not going too far away just because it's our first time taking it out. We wanna get used to it. But Dan's out um, checking something out. I just finished packing the last of what we need. Harlow's napping, Rye's doing some quiet time in her bedroom. I still have to pack our coolers but I thought I would take you for a little tour so far of what it looks like. So this is it. Oh, Farlow's little lawnmower. So right now it is packed for traveling. So a lot of it's still hidden away in the seats and cupboards. Uh, once we get to our campsite, then I'll start taking stuff out and actually display it properly and have it more accessible because right now it's kind of annoying so we have a queen bedroom for dan and i that has a sliding door we'll probably use this for rise quiet time during the day if she needs it just because she doesn't nap anymore who knows she might nap we have our dining table all of our storage this is kitchen area pretty standard um, this is where I'm going to keep all the girl stuff. I started organizing it a bit, but still need to do a lot more. This is just our first trip, so we'll get a better idea of what we need. Um, fridge, microwave, and then these are the girls' bunk beds, which we had to, we, Dan, had to add the custom gates and doors just because, one, Harlow is going to be going on the top, and she obviously doesn't need to be falling out. And then with Rye, she is in a toddler bed, so she's fine sleeping in a normal bed, but she sleeps in a toddler-proof bedroom, so we didn't want her to wake up in the middle of the night, like turn on the stove, um, just figure out how to do the door, you know, and leave in the middle of the night. Not that I think she would, but you never know. It only takes them one time to learn for the first time, and it could be just devastating. So. We have these bunk beds. Rye's gonna go on the bottom just because it has the window here and I don't want Harlow playing around with it. Um, and then Harlow gets the top. Again, the locks are just so she doesn't fall out. Um, this is like a completely, woo, it's losing my focus. Where it's completely blacked out, we're going to uh, remove the light bulbs out of there so that she can't get into it. And then these are just bars so that she still has some airflow. That is a curtain that we'll cover just partly, just because we still want to make sure she has airflow. And then Rye, just basically to keep her safe in there. Um, and then when they're older, we'll remove them. And then we have our bathroom, which right now, um, pretty standard. We're going to store those in the tub with the shower for traveling. I'm gonna finish packing up our coolers. Dan's gonna come back. Um, he had to sanitize the system with bleach and a bunch of stuff, so he has to take this out to dump um, and then bring it back, and then we're gonna be heading out onto the road. We are ready to go. Windy, but that's not a bad thing because it keeps the bugs away. We have basically the whole place to ourselves. Um, like I said, this isn't like 
in the woods. So this is just our first trip out. So we wanted to get somewhere with power hookups. Just more close and straightforward. Hi. So far it's pretty exhausting camping with a one-year-old because she just wants to walk and get into everything. But Rye, are you having fun? Yeah, look, I got my own white rock. You got rock collection. Check it out. I, yeah. You got some good rocks. And Dan is just over by the trailer and truck setting things up. So I figured I would keep the girls out of his hair just to get all the preliminary stuff set up. So I'll show it once it's all good to go. So far camping with a one-year-old. It's great. need to keep reminding myself that it's great. Um, Dan's, oh, it's raining. Dan's putting up our dining tent. There's the river. Right, Harlow's just destroying. Yes, Harlow's destroying the napkins. Rye is watching a show in her bed. She's comfy, she, lo she didn't want Harlow to come in so she locked it. And I'm gonna get this little girl some food. Hello. Just run up away. Yeah, this should be good. That's a bottle cap, right? I'm a genius. Oh, you're a genius. Treasure. Okay, make put it on the table and find some more things. Okay. Frozen? No, they were just in the cooler on the ice. You have to buy this thing off. Yeah. Yeah. Excited? Harlow is currently screaming her face off in bed, so we keep having to go in. She hasn't had to sleep anywhere but her crib yeah, in like since we moved like six, seven months ago. So it's just a little bit new for her in general. So hopefully the first night's the worst and she'll be fine. I think she's quiet and we'll see. She keeps trying to grab the curtain which is on the outside of the gate so she can't like bring it in or anything. All she's in there with is her sleep sack and soother. It's quiet. It's quiet, so <laughs> we'll see, she's tired. She normally is in bed by 6.30 and it's like eight something, so. And you are normally in bed by seven, but you get to stay up and roast some? Marshmallows. Marshmallows. Can I have some of those marshmallows? I think the bike will have camp too. <laughs> Got cookies, marshmallows. So you gotta stand yeah. back, put them on the fire like this. Not too I'll help you though, okay? Then you first more. You want it? I'll take a bite. Might be hot. Let's hear Ryland's ghost story. Oh, an owl! An owl? He wants to fly and bury them. Oh my god! In that forest over there? And it, it lost his eye in the river. He Whoa. lost his eye in the river? Tell me more. <laughs> Did a bear in the river? Yeah. What a good story. Yeah. His daddy's turn. <laughs> I just got Rylan and I just got Rylan to bed after Harlow fell asleep, and I'm telling this story to Dan because I just came out. Um, so I told Rylan to be quiet as a mouse, and she was. And then I brought her into the bathroom so that she could brush her teeth. And while I was pulling out their toothbrushes. Rylan decided to, oh, what's this tap? And she turned the shower tap water on, but it's a loose hose, so it sprung to life 
it shot water across the room, hit the side of the shower of the tub. <laughs> And it flew, so then Harlow instantly started crying. <laughs> this whole time we were being so quiet, and she was sleeping, no problem. And then Rylan, Rylan felt bad after. She was like, oh, she'll go back to sleep. And then she did, she went back to sleep. And then I tucked Rylan in and she's laying there super excited. And it's just super cute. But Harlow went back to sleep. I just, I just couldn't believe that. <laughs> Do I need to go dry off the shower in the no. bathroom? <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's fine. So it is 9.30, I think. My phone's dead. Um, Rylan went to sleep, like, ASAP, which I I had a feeling she'd be totally fine just because she was so excited to sleep in the trailer. She was so excited to sleep in a bunk bed. She was excited to have a sleepover with Harlow. Um, I had no doubts that she would just, like, be totally fine I thought Harlow would be a little better than what she did but it, w it wasn't that bad um, she's very dramatic in general she's very sensitive and when she cries or you take something away from her she's very like zero to a hundred where Rylan was never like that at this age so <sighs> she's just very dramatic um, but I knew she was fine I knew she was okay and she got over it even when she woke up that second time when Rylan accidentally woke her up um she went back to sleep pretty quick so she's she's getting used to it and I think just more exposure to that specific sleeping environment it'll just be um better but so far overall like day one well half a day uh pretty successful but I see why people camp with like grandparents or friends or just other family because it's a lot of work when you have such dependent children at like this age um, Harlow is at such a needy age where it's just constant supervision constant um, Rye obviously she still needs supervision but she's a little bit more independent but you know you still have to like remind her all the safety things it's just it's a lot so Basically, you just have to leave Dan to set everything up and then he took over with the girls so that I could unload all the food and just pull stuff out. So if we had more people helping us, obviously it would have been way faster, but I think we did pretty good. Um, Dan and I didn't even have any arguments <laughs> because that sometimes happens when you're dealing with all this plus kids on top of it. So um, overall, I think it's... It was really successful and it's beautiful. The wind has died down so the mosquitoes are out now but that's okay. So we're probably not gonna have a late night just because it's gonna be a long day tomorrow, full day with the girls, which I'm excited because we can actually like enjoy going down to the river. We can go to the playground and not just be stressed out about, um, you know, setting up. So we also have some friends coming by for a few hours and then they're gonna leave. So. I'm looking forward to tomorrow and hopefully bedtime goes better, but we will see. Good morning, we survived our first night. Rye is just watching a show while Dan's going on a walk with Harlow. I'm cooking breakfast. Both the girls slept until 8 a.m. Um, I think Rye was awake earlier than that, but she stayed quiet like we asked her to, because once Harlow started crying, I could hear uh, Rylan talking to her, so I think she was already awake. Harlow woke up like twice in the middle of the night crying, but we just left her and it was only like maybe two minutes. So I think she was just confused where she was and then figured it out um, and she was fine. So we are making breakfast. It is beautiful out. We're gonna eat outside this morning and hopefully the day goes okay with Harlow. We just gave her some Advil. The Harlow has one molar pretty much fully out. This one has a point coming out and then the tops are swollen. She only has like her two bottom teeth, so um, not quite the order I thought she would do for teeth, but whatever. So right now she's pretty miserable. Um, four molars is a lot. So I feel bad for her, but it's also really frustrating for us because, you know, we're just trying to enjoy this trip and Rye's been so great. Um, it's just different with a baby, that's for sure. But I understand and it's just temporary. Rylan's over here living her best life. Come on. Come 
Um, when the girls are older, we're not gonna let them have, well, I'm not gonna say that. I have no idea. But I would like to think that um, they're not gonna have any electronics, but this age is hard because she just still needs a lot of supervision. So when I'm trying to cook and Dan's trying to get stuff ready, she just needs a distraction for a little bit and hopefully when she's older she can just be outside and not need something like that but especially for our first trip we need some help um this is our virtual babysitter right now how's your breakfast you can have mine how's your food harlow <laughs> He smiles. What'd mommy make us? Look at that spread. It's like right in Denny's country kitchen. Harlow, miserable as ever. <laughs> oh no. The girls are sporting fleece onesie outfits with shoes. Uh, come on, Arla, let's go. Let's get some dandelions. Come on. Let's get away from Ozzy's leash. Raya's picking dandelions. You got some good ones? I just got Harlow down for her nap. It's 12 something. Uh, she only cried for two minutes and it's quiet. So I'm thinking she is sleeping. <laughs> and if not, at least she is quiet. Um, we are going to put, Dan and Rylan are just at that little park over there. We're gonna put Rylan down for her quiet time in our bedroom that has a sliding door and we have a sound machine on so she shouldn't be able to wake up Harlow. Um, and maybe she'll fall asleep if, if not that's okay too but she's gonna have her quiet time so that Dan and I can just chill out and not chase after kids for a second um, but so far so good it's like it hasn't rained yet but it kind of wants to so hopefully we stay dry we have we're connected to power here so I'm able to have the monitor on although you can't really see much but Harlow's on the top, so I can hear her, and it's quiet, and the temperature is good. Rye's doing quiet time. Whoa, Jesus. Rye's doing quiet time. Harlow's napping. Now we can relax. rare moment that needed to be caught on camera. Harlow not crying and them playing together. Shh. Do not disturb. Come on, Rai, let's go. Adventure. <laughs> We're gonna go down to the beach in the sand. It's actually warm up, but it makes it. It's so windy. It dies down at night though, just in time for the bugs to come out, but it keeps the bugs away during the day. Come in.
Mari's taking a little break after our, our outing. My lasagna is bubbling. And now I get to wash all the dishes while Dan handles our lavarlo. Hi, are you happy after your nap? House in the Prairie theme song. No way, you're not helping. You got it. There we go. Say good job, Daddy. Good job, Daddy. Thanks, Rye. <laughs> Arlo. <laughs> Put it down, please. Can you drop it? Arlo's happy eating her food. Having some lasagna and some squished blueberries. What are you eating? Watermelon? Mm-hmm. We survived our second day with the girls camping. It is seven on the dot and both of them are asleep. Um, Harlow fell asleep like 15 minutes ago and then I got Rylan down right after her. So this is actually like normal bedtime for them. So hopefully that means they'll be less cranky tomorrow, but I don't know, just Harlow's molars and Rylan's just so excited about everything. But we are going to enjoy We'll see how late we can stay up. <laughs> but basically this is our only time to just chill and thankfully it stays super light out here really late so we can actually enjoy some of it, maybe play a game or something, I don't know. But so far day two was a success. Mm -hmm. currently packing up. I have Harlow on my back so that we can actually get some stuff done. Hey, Harlow, look over here. Do you like it? Because <laughs> um, Dan's packing up all the picnic stuff. I packed up our kitchen and cleaned everything up while he took the girls to the park. So now we're just packing up all the outside stuff. Rye's in there watching a show. Um, and then the sandy dump is next. How was your first camping trip? Yay! Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah? Was it the best time ever? Yeah. Yeah. Almost ready to go. Got Harlow. Yeah. Getting fussy. You getting fussy? I'll let them walk around at the park now while Dan hitches the trailer up. The girls are just playing in the sand while Dan hooks up the trailer. It is beautiful and hot out right now, zero wind, which we've had pretty windy trip, but it's beautiful today, so one more day would have been nice, but... I have to get back for Harlow's, her late one year checkup, um, just with COVID and everything going on. So we have to go back to do that anyway, so we'll just 
ended on a good note. The girls slept really great last night. Um, both were dead asleep by seven and they both slept until eight and no one woke up in the middle of the night. So let's end on a good note. Um, Harlow also napped really great yesterday. So I consider it a success. What'd you do it? Oh, you're watering the dandelions? There's no water. Yeah, it's just sand. We are all set and ready to go. I'm finally drinking my coffee that I just spilled. Oh, this is a sweet look. Um, oh my lord. The girls are in their car seats, ready to go. Harlow's over here. Dan's doing the sandy dump. Ozzy's in the back. And ah, we are ready to go. You say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Did you have fun? Yes. Yeah. Did you have fun, Harlow? Yes. You say yeah? Can you say bye? Say bye bye. <laughs> thanks for watching our first camping trip as a family of four.